In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, dear friends, and welcome to this, our office of evening prayer. And I trust and pray that you had a beautifully blessed day. Grace and truth came through Jesus. Let us worship and praise him. Lord, open our lips that we may glorify and praise your name glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen we are on page 55 in our anglican prayer books please join in with me as we say, paragraph 48 together, Hail Gladling Light. Hail Gladling Light, of his pure glory poured, who is the immortal Father, heavenly blessed, holiest of holies, Jesus Christ our Lord. Now we have come to the sun's hour of rest. The lights of evening round us shine, we him, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit divine. Worthiest art thou at times to be sung with undefiled tongue, Son of our God, giver of life alone, therefore in all the world thy glorious Lord they own. So let us call to mind and confess our sins. We bring all the day's challenges before God and lay it at God's feet. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our appointed psalm is Psalm 44. Psalm 44, and it can be found on page 657. We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us what things you did in their time in the days of old how by your own hand you drove out the nations and planted us in, 
how you crushed the peoples but caused us to root and grow. For it was not by the swords that our fathers took possession of the land, nor did their own arm get them the victory. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you delighted in them. You are my king and my God, who ordained victory for Jacob. By your power we struck our enemies through. In your name we trod down those that rose against us. For I did not trust in my bow, nor could my sword save me. But it was you that delivered us from our enemies and put our adversities to confusion. In God we made our boast all the day long. We gave thanks to your name without ceasing. But now you have cast us off and brought us to shame. You go not out with our armies. You have caused us to show our backs to the enemy so that our foes plunder us at will. You have given us like sheep to be butchered. You have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for nothing and made a profitless bargain. You have made us a laughing stock to our neighbors, mocked and held in derision by those about us. You have made us a byword among the nations so that the peoples toss their heads in scorn. My disgrace is before me all the day long, and my shame has covered my face. At the voice of the slander and the reviler, at the sight of the enemy and avenger, all this has come upon us, though we have not forgotten you. We have not betrayed your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, nor have our steps stayed from your, strayed from your paths. And yet you have crushed us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we had forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands in prayer to some strange God, would not God search it out? For he knows the very secrets of the heart. But for your sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Rouse yourself, O Lord, why do you sleep? Awake, do not cast us off forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and affliction? Our souls are bowed in dust. Our bellies cleave to the ground. Arise, O Lord, to help us and redeem us for your mercy's sake. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson is written in Matthew chapter 20, and I read from verse 1 to verse 16. Matthew chapter 20, reading from verse 1 to 16. The parable of the workers in the vineyard. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire men to work in his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and send them into his vineyard. About the third hour he came out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, You also go and work in my vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about the sixth hour and the ninth, and he did the same thing. 
About the eleventh hour, he went out and found still other workers standing around. He asked them, Why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You also go and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. The workers who were hired about the eleventh hour came and each received a denarius. So, when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more. But each one of them also received a denarius. And when they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These men who were hired last worked only for an hour, he said. And you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, friend, I am not being unfair to you. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the man who hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want to with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. Here ends the lesson. This evening we again read about the kingdom of God and how different the kingdom of God is. And this evening we see how differently Jesus looks at people. And in this case the farmer with his workers Perhaps Jesus and his disciples. And this is so much like a picture that we see daily in our church. Where we have this idea of entitlement. Where we think that if we had been around for a good number of years that we are more entitled to our opinion than those that have just started recently. I remember early on in my ministry When members of the older congregation, the members of the congregation that had been around for many, many, many years had to work under my leadership. And I remember in one of the meetings there was an issue. And I remember one of the elderly gentlemen getting up and said, who are you, he told me. You just fell off the bus now the other day. And I've always remembered that. And I always think, what and how could he speak to me? What gave him the right to speak to me in that way? And I realized that as I continued in ministry, That's that is very much what happens in most of our churches, entitlement, where we think that we are able to do and say as we please because of the number of years that we have been in a certain congregation. But this evening, dear friends, I want to point out again that God's grace cannot be earned It is given freely. Each and every one of us, we are equal in the sight of God. There is no favorites. 
and because you have been around for a very long time, that doesn't make you more special than someone that have just joined the church that has just found God. And so if we think or expect to be first, remember the first will be lost. May God bless you and I as we continue to ponder on God's word. Amen. The song of Simeon. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and to the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died and was buried. He descended to the dead and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, this evening we thank you for your word. Your word that reminds us how generous you are. That you love us equally, that you are not the respecter of persons. And so help us, Lord, with in your church to treat everybody, everyone with respect as a and as an equal. We thank you, Lord, for loving us. And so, Lord, we pray your blessing on your church. We ask you to give us your blessing to your church holiness, to the world peace, to this nation justice, and to all people, knowledge of your law, keep safe our families, protect the weak, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and bring us all to a joyful resurrection. We ask these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of all the nations, when race, class, or gender divide us, Convict us with your presence and draw us all into the unity of your love through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. It
eternal God from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Lighten our darkness, Lord, and by your great mercy defend us in all perils and dangers of the night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, beloved, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever. Amen. I trust and pray that you will have a peaceful night's rest. God bless and goodbye.